never gonna be enough, man. You could get chicks. One ticks, two chicks, three chicks, four chicks. What's going on, guys? Thanks for tuning in for another video. I really appreciate it. Thanks for subscribing. I really appreciate it. Thank you. We are on our way to 100. I'm putting it out there. I'm putting it out there in the universe. 100 of them thanks. Let's go. Appreciate you. All right, today's video is about when you base your life around a woman. So I wrote a few points, about four points, about what would happen when you base your life around a woman. Let's get into it. All right, number one is when you base your life around women, women will control you. And I'm not even talking about the women that you're actually dealing with. I'm talking about every woman will control you will control your moves, your emotions, the way you the way you talk, the way you dress, they will control your life. And here's the thing. No woman actually wants control over your life. No woman actually wants control. Period. They want a man to lead. They want you to do your thing. So, you might give her your control and she probably take that control and beat you in the head with it. You get what I'm saying? Don't give her no control over your control over your emotions, control over your mood. Don't even give her the remote control. Control your life. Number two, getting the woman is never enough. It's never enough. You can get one woman, two women, three women, four women, five. It's never enough. You could pull Will Chamberlain numbers. It's never enough. You understand? It's never enough. You could be getting all the chicks in the world. You're still going to feel lonely inside because you're going around chasing them all day. You don't even know when to stop. You're like a hamster on a wheel. You don't know where to go. you chasing and running. You look sick. You look retarded than a mofo. You look crazy than a motherfucker. you chasing, running, chasing over tail. Who are you supposed to be right now? You don't even know who you're supposed to be. You look crazy. You understand? Don't chase them. I think I saw somewhere, AMS uh, YouTuber, he said you could take two guys. You could take one guy that's out there chasing tail every day, getting laid all the time, and you could take another guy that's on his grind, on his purpose, doing his thing, you know what I mean, on the side. Guarantee you. The guy who's on his grind, on his purpose, not getting laid as much, is going to be happier than the dude running around chasing girls all the time. And I believe it, man. I'll tell you, from monk mode, just I've been in monk mode, and I've been happy, man. I've been chilling, been doing my thing, and I would say that's true. You know what I mean? So it's never going to be enough, man. You could get chicks, one ticks, two chicks, three chicks, four chicks. It don't even matter. Million chicks. You could pull... Wilt Chamberlain numbers, it still won't be enough, my guy. Yeah. Number three, you will get shamed if you revolve your life around a woman. You understand me? People think that, oh, you know what I mean? I'll revolve, you know what I mean? I'm going to cater to her. You know what I mean? I'm going to give her what she want. I'm going to buy her the Birkin bag. I'm going to keep it 100. I'm going to buy her flowers and chocolate every day. Forget Valentine's Day. She gonna get because she's a queen and she deserves the best. And blah, 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 blah. shut the hell up. If I was if I was on front of you right now, I'd probably mush your face in. You get what I'm saying? You sound crazy, all right? Because when you give your all and you show give your life to a woman, she will shame you. She will stone you. Similar to like Jesus and the Nazareth, how they stoned him. She will stone you like the Christ. You feel me? Your return on investment is low. She will shame you and ridicule you for not having your own purpose, not having your own life. See, this is something that, you know, is not being taught. They don't teach you this on Ellen. 
<laughs> this is some real. This, they don't teach you this on, I don't know. Drew Barrymore got a show. They don't teach you that on that. Fallon ain't teaching you this. This is real ish, man. Subscribe. Number four, if you base your life around women, you will depend on women. And you don't want to depend on women because women are not dependable. They're not. You know what I'm saying? Nobody is as dependable as you are. You know what I mean? Depend on yourself. Be self-reliant. Because understand that nobody out there you could rely on like yourself. You know what I'm saying? Now, people might be like, oh, he's sexist. He hates women. <laughs> if you really listen to what I'm trying to I'm trying to drop gems. If you're really trying to listen, I'm dropping gems. I'm telling you, you got to rely on yourself. Forget women. Men. Men are not dependable either. Not as much, not as dependable as you will be to your life. You don't want to depend on no woman. You don't want to depend on anyone. You want to have self-reliance. You want to rely solely on yourself. That's why it's important, you know, that the men going your own way, the MGTOW movement is so beneficial because you, while you do go in your own way, it shows you how to rely on yourself, how to take care of yourself, how to not depend on anyone you know, for your life, because it is your life. At the end of the day, you could do whatever it is that you want with your life. So you got to take control of your life, grab it by the throat, and get it on and popping. You feel me? Yeah. All right. So if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe. I appreciate you guys for watching. Once again, appreciate y'all. See you guys next time. One, one, one out. Peace.